patrolling Louisiana highways. Most motorcycle riders wear helmets, but are they really necessary when you're riding a bicycle? The numbers speak for themselves, as News Center's Julie Gay reports. Uh, I was hit from behind, and uh, it, it demolished the bike. I went straight up in the air. Uh, I must have turned a flip, because when I landed, I landed on my helmet and my knees, and thank God I had a helmet on. There's no question in Tom Seaborn's mind about the value of wearing a biking helmet. While training for a race in May, he was hit and believes the helmet saved his life. A week later, he went on to win a grueling 500-mile race in the California desert. And in August, will ride in the 3,100-mile race across America. He'll keep his helmet on the entire race. In 1988, 1,400 cyclists died after being hit by cars. 75% of the deaths resulted from head injuries. You want to make sure that you have a stiff, smooth outer shell and that the liner on the inside is made out of a polystyrene. Make sure also that the helmet does not slip back and forth or side to side. Also, you want to make sure that it has a very good adjustable chin strap and buckle because that is the most important part of a helmet to make sure it's going to stay on. Experts say helmets should be worn for recreational as well as competitive riding. They say use your head, wear a helmet. Without the helmet, I really think I would have been dead. In Shreveport, Julie Gay, New Center 6. And Rick Berry.